Fibersoft Uptest, Next Generation Web Testing. Hey, sounds good. Can you tell me what Uptest is? Yes, for sure. Uptest is a brand new testing application that is focusing on user interface tests. So what we try to achieve is that we, we close the gap between unit testing and user acceptance testing where you test the user interface. This is in most of the development projects one of the things that is not done so regularly because many people say it's hard to maintain, it's hard to record and all the things. But with Fibers of the Test we, we prove that that's not true anymore. So can you show me the difference between uptest and other ways of testing? Yes, for sure. Let's have a look at one of the popular websites on the internet. Let's go to Amazon.com. Here we have a really nice structure that is human readable. So we have categories here and we have links here. Let's zoom in a bit that we can see it better. So let's say we click on laptops, tablets and notebooks and then we choose one of the brands. Doesn't matter which one. So and here we are now. In the background, these steps were recorded by an open source testing tool that is used by many people because of its way of testing. You have seen here that we have something that is readable, it opens a website, it clicks on a link, but then we have something here that is completely unreadable. This is not understandable anymore by anybody because you have to see the page structure to identify which is the ID, which is the first div, then you have a paragraph and a link 14. Okay, I believe you. I have no idea what this should mean. <laughs> Me neither. So, then let's have a look how Uptest is solving this problem. If you started the Uptest Studio, we are in the middle of the application and we are already in testing mode. So, we go here and we say, okay, we start the recording, as we, did, we have seen before, and then we go to computer office, laptops, tablets and notebooks, and we choose the same brand again. What happened in the background is that Uptest now has recorded these steps, pretty similar to what we have seen before, but with one big difference. We have a pattern, we have showed Uptest the web page Amazon.com before, so Uptest knows the structure, and now we are able to record steps that are understandable. So the first click was on the left section in the navigation bar on computers and office. The second click was it somewhere in the menu, laptops, tablets and notebooks, and the link was called the same. And then in the center area we have clicked a link named Toshiba. So this is something that you understand, that is maintainable and that is sustainable. Because whenever the order of the links changes, for instance you switch the brands, it doesn't matter because the link here is identified by its name, not by its position. This means these tests also survive changes in the user interface. If we go back, for instance, and we, we run this test, so we just tell Fabersoft Uptest to run these few steps that we have just recorded, we say run the test, so just do it in unattended mode now. We should see these steps that we have recorded before, click on the sections and then the click on the brand as we, as we see here. And now the test is, is over, the test has passed. And simply by double clicking on the test result down here, we get the report. And the amazing thing is that if we go into the detailed view, we see exactly the, what we have seen before, what happened in the test. So we see everything was green, we see... What you did? what the application tried, where it was clicking, yes. Yeah. And we see that the click on menu, laptops, tablets and notebooks and netbooks was successful. Yeah, looks great. Indeed it is, because here you are in a great position that simply by reading the test you can figure out what went wrong. 
For instance, let's just copy one of these test steps here and we put in a typo. So we just want to click on Tosh. So now we have we should have a test that is failing. If we run this test again and we say okay on error continue and if we have an error we want a screenshot then the same test is, is executed again but we should see down here in this section that something goes wrong because this click should not be executed or should not be executable. Okay, you see here this red icon, it already indicates that something went wrong and down here we have a red icon, so the test failed. Let's see what happened. We see the test report from before, we have one failure. Okay. In the red sense, yeah. Yes. And then we go to the step that failed, we see center zero, click on Tosh something went wrong. What went wrong? There is no Tosh in Windows Zero Center. Okay, that's a screenshot of the, the execution that failed. And if we have a look here, we see, okay, there is nothing, there is no link named Toshira. Tosh, okay. because the click on Tosh failed. So that's the big difference between other testing applications and AppTest. Simply by reading through the steps everybody even a, a new employee somebody who says okay i will do the quality assurance for your web application or whatever immediately by starting recording a test simply by clicking through you get readable understandable and maintainable test and the most amazing thing about all this is that's for free wow hey that's great where can i get this stuff all you have to do is you open your web browser, go to www.apptest.com, then click here on download. All you need to do is you enter your name and your email address. You submit that and you can download all the packages immediately even already pre-prepared Eclipse version is available where spec designer and everything is installed simply download it run the setup and you're there yeah great sounds great thank you very much for the information you're very welcome see you next time see you